Good evening, everyone. I'm Sam Wright. I'm Brian Allen. The community of Washington Springs tonight mourning the loss of an elementary student after they were involved in a fatal accident getting to school last week. Organizers of a fundraiser for the family tonight say it's not just the right thing to do, it's second nature. Cooper Seamer with our 6 o'clock top story. High school basketball games always draw a crowd here in Westington Springs, but many people are coming to tonight's game not just for the action on the court, but to show their support for a family grieving the loss of a daughter. The Westington Springs sixth grade class is busy Tuesday afternoon, helping set up a silent auction before tonight's boys basketball game. The proceeds of the auction, as well as a free will meal, 50-50 drawing, and chuck a duck contest are going to the family of their classmate, Reba Crothers. Reba was walking to a school bus on January 26th when a driver on State Highway 34 didn't see her or the bus until it was too late because of fog and struck her. Reba was taken to a nearby hospital, later transferred to Sioux Falls, but recently passed away. The Westington Springs PTO was already planning on holding the fundraiser before Reba's passing, but members Ryan Jensen and Daniel Duxbury say they wanted to go on. I think we both kind of looked at each other and said, <laughs> we're doing it no matter what, because, you know, under the circumstances, there's going to be expenses. You know, no matter what happens, there's going to be expenses, and we understood that. The support from Westington Springs and surrounding communities, though, has been overwhelming. Many more items than were planned for are being auctioned off, and there's been no shortage of people reaching out asking how they can help. I'm still fairly new to Westington Springs, and I've already learned that it's not a matter of if this community will come for you when you need it. It is like, how will they show up for you? It's not just that people are pitching in to help Reba's family, but both Jensen and Duxbury say it's because they know it could have been another family that this happened to. Someday this could be me. We never know what's going to happen, you know, and um, in our hearts, in Westington Springs, there's hearts, and they the surrounding communities, um, you know, I, it's, 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 been ama it's been amazing. My husband and I had that conversation and said, I think one thing we need to learn is like we're very quick to try to help other people, but sometimes it's hard to get that help when it's you and you never want to be in that situation. But if you are, we know that Westington Springs will be here. Both Jensen and Duxbury say these kinds of actions are important in small communities because often when one family is hurting, the entire community is. And this is just one way they can show their support and come together. In Westington Springs, Cooper Seamer, Dakota News Now.